lost a great talent and New York treasure recently. Neil Simon began life right here in New York City on July 4th, 1927, and he died on August 26th. A prolific playwright, Simon wrote scores of classic plays, mostly Broadway comedies, including The Odd Couple, Barefoot in the Park, and Lost in Yonkers, for which he won the 1991 Pulitzer Prize. Among Simon's famous screenplays was the 1977 film The Goodbye Girl and Chapter Two in 1979, both starring four-time Academy Award nominee Marsha Mason. I recently got the chance to speak with Miss Mason, Neil Simon's ex-wife, in an interview we recorded before Simon's death. I talked to her about her work in the ACT repertory company out west and her new roles in popular TV series, among them ABC's The Middle and Netflix's Grace and Frankie, and of course her personal and professional relationship with Neil Simon and how it began. Well, what happened was um, I wanted to go back to ACT for a second season, and I was planning on it. And my agents here in New York, uh, Phyllis Wender, um, she said, well, you better, why don't you audition for this new Neil Simon play? Because actually you'll play four or five parts, because the whole idea of repertory was what really got me excited. So I went and I auditioned and I had um, actually shot Cinderella Liberty, but it hadn't come out yet. Um, so both Bloom and Love and Cinderella Liberty uh, came out in the same season um, because 20th Century Fox sort of pushed it out for a Christmas release um, for actually for Jimmy, you know. Kind right. of. And so um, I thought I. I always had to go back to callbacks. I never was like hired in an instant. So I went back to my agent's office after I did the audition for The Good Doctor, which was Neil Simon's play. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, well, I think it was okay. You know, I'll probably get a callback. And so they, she said, well, <laughs> they called and you've got the role. So I had to weigh staying in New York and doing what I had always mm -hmm. come here to do, to go to, ACT and I was just so torn and I had a long talk with Bill and he was so wonderful and he said no no you must go and do it so that was like in the summer like in August or September and then I kind of cleared out my life and everything and I came back to New York and got ready to go into rehearsal and we rehearsed I guess it was at the theater and all around a table the first reading and um, that was October the 3rd, and Neil and I were married on the 23rd or something. Yeah. Bit so. of a whirlwind, yes, that, as you described. But um, it was just meant to be, yep. so. And, and again, the, these are, are some of the most wonderful films, and if people out there haven't seen them, they should go see them. You, you then end up leaving Hollywood, stepping away from all of this. Yeah, in the for, 80s. For, for, uh, in the 80s, for, for a, late a 80s, good yeah. period of time. You go, as I mentioned, New Mexico, yep. organic farm. Yeah. Which which and and, and make it a too. product and make it a <laughs> yeah, and make it a product line. Things yeah, are doing well. Yeah. Um, you, you've taught I've saw you saying before that, that actors should always have some experience directing. And directors should have some experience oh, acting. Uh -huh. And you're doing more and more directing, directing yeah, now. Why yeah. what is it that, that is attracting in this in this part of your career? What's attracting you to the notion of directing now? Uh, I think it's uh, trying to uh, e expand one's potential. Um, and also it's, a, it's visionary. I, I don't know how else to put it. I mean, I started out at second stage. They gave me my first break, um, Carol Rothman and Robin Goodman, and they were wonderful. And that sort of, that, and then I, I left it for mm -hmm. a long time because I was busy racing right. cars. And, <laughs> growing herbs, but um, <laughs> but then I, when Robin uh, took over the Bucks County and everything um, out in Pennsylvania, she said, why don't you, you know, come and do something? And I was very fortunate because I just kind of fell back into it and I love it. I mm -hmm. just, I love the, um, the crew aspect of it, the the collaboration with the set designer, lighting designer, sound designer, with the actors. And because I sort of really do know yeah. everything now. You've been there. You've I've done it all. I've been there and, and I've absorbed a lot and, and I've also done a lot. So I feel confident in terms of what I'm doing and I also feel 
strangely enough that the 20 years in New Mexico meant learning management, learning discipline, learning business, uh, becoming an entrepreneur and becoming a manager of Latino men, which was not an easy thing. Yeah. Um, sort of positioned having, you for all Yes, of that. and it really did ex expand me as a person. Well, I, I know I speak for all of your fans, of which I said I am one, that we're oh, delighted that we've gotten you off the farm and we have you back on the screen, both oh, directing lovely. and acting. Marcia, this is, it's been a pleasure, a real delight to meet you. Thank you so much. Well, for come some time on September 27th yes. to Provincetown, Massachusetts. I'm going to mention that for folks. And, okay. that. and is there a better place and time to go than in September to Provincetown, Massachusetts? <laughs> what a wonderful place. <laughs> Marcia, thank you again. You'd be well. Yeah. And a reminder for you out there, Marsha Mason can be seen guest starring on TV's Grace and Frankie, and as we mentioned, also be directing Amanda Plummer in the world premiere of Talisman Roses at the Tennessee Williams Festival in Provincetown, Massachusetts, that from September 26th to the 28th.